What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive. And of course, paid to drive vlogs coming at you with day number 1376. Hope you are doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel. That's right. Hit that red subscribe button down below. It's free and turn on that notification bell to the right. And of course, Make sure to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into the email. Thornton Mellon, Triple Lindy style. Here we go. So this comes from Nancy. So this should sound a little familiar to a lot of you guys. We've been talking about this lately, okay? So she goes, hey, Pete, last night on our shift, we had this experience. We accepted an order from Chick-fil-A, arrived at the store before pickup time and waited a couple of minutes and then found out another dasher had already picked up the order. Hmm, what does this sound like? We contacted the customer and the food had not been delivered. Contacted support who stated we were only the only dasher accepting the order. The store manager was super nice and repackaged the order for the customer. He stated they had been seeing this happen. Ah, so now we've spent 30 minutes on this order, which was only three minutes away. We get the next order for McDonald's. Arrived before the pickup and again told another dasher had picked up the order. Contacted the customer. No food had been delivered. We contacted support. Again, after a lengthy chat, we were told that was a glitch in the system. No. My gut was saying there was a scammer in the system. We ended our dash after those two incidents. We've done over 800 dashes in the past five months and have never experienced this before. Is it happening in other markets? We are also in the Midwest. Thanks, Pete, for your videos. We look forward to all you share. You're very welcome, Nancy. Have a blessed day to you, too. So, what do we think about this? I literally was just talking about this, okay? This is yet again, another confirmation. Two more, right here, okay? Now, some people may say, well, Pete, how do we know if these people are telling the truth? You don't, you don't. But what I will tell you is this, why would so many people bring it up, okay? I'm not famous, what are they gonna do? It's gonna be seen by a thousand people? You know what I mean? It's, it's really, it's, it, in my opinion, it is not even worth the effort to send me an email if it's gonna be nonsense, okay? The fact of the matter is this, these two, because a lot of people work as a couple, you know, sometimes both of them will be dashers or one will be registered, one will drive the car, the other one will go and pick up the orders and bring them to the house or the apartment or the office or whatever while someone waits in the car because in a lot of areas, you know, the parking is a pain in the ass, especially in where I live. If you don't know your market and don't know where you can park, you're gonna get tickets up to Wazoo and you're literally gonna be paying tickets in order to work, parking tickets, it's not worth it. But going back to this whole scam thing, it seems that it is happening in tons of markets, okay, all over the place. And what I wanna know is, why is it that you need to disguise yourself as a DoorDash driver and do this, why? In this situation, it doesn't even sound like a dasher even went in and then reassigned it. That's been the other issue. This just looks like people are knowing that DoorDash drivers are going in and out all day or Grubhub or Uber Eats. They probably see the delivery bag. They probably scope out the place, see what they're doing. And maybe they're a previous dasher that got deactivated or they're just a pedestrian that's just looking for free food. And they're going and grabbing food right from over the counter, whether, you know, like if, if it's at like a, a Chipotle or like a Panera or something like that, a lot of times the food the, uh, for the delivery is on the shelves and you just match the name with the name on the app. And you're like, oh, this is for Bill. So here's Bill's order and they take it and leave. Who's to stop somebody walking in off the street to grab that order and walk out with it? So like I said, you're screwing the customer, you're screwing the restaurant, you're screwing the driver, the next driver over, and you're screwing DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats. This has to stop. 
This has to stop. And, and then what happens in these situations? When the, a system gets abused, it makes it harder for everybody else who's working their asses off. Okay, then they're going to have to par start putting in other stipulations. They're going to have to start locking up food in vaults. I heard about that happening. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, if you told me this four years ago when I first got into this game, I wouldn't even believe you. I'd be like, locking food away so that it doesn't get stolen? That's absurd. I've never heard of such a thing. But it's real, all right? So in the chat, guys, in, in the chat, in the comments down below, please let me know if you have heard of this happening in your market uh, for any reason. Let me know down below. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, email, email it to paytodrivestories at gmail.com. That information is in the description down below. Or you can send me a message on Patreon for a little bit of a quicker response. Sign up down below, patreon.com slash paid to drive. Links in the description or in the pinned top comment. And uh, I'll give you shout outs in all new videos. I'm gonna do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey Pete, I heard my name in the chat or the comments down below. Let's jump into it. We've got our $100 ultimate driver, Ari Rosenbaum. Ari, thank you so much for your generosity. And also thank you for the generosity of Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Just In Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, <clears throat> John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. So sign up on Patreon down below, get your shout outs and send me a message. And of course, everybody, also at the bottom of the description, there's a link to the free gas app I talk about in every video. It's called Get Upside. Please make sure to download it. You save money at the gas pump and it is super simple to use. You download it from the link in the description on your smartphone, any phone will do. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links in the description down below. Please make sure to download it today seriously and of course if you want one of these awesome we are pay to drive shirts you can get one at pay to drive store.com everything's on sale every day fun fact this was the original first shirt that was created on the pay to drive store so just a little fun fact we've sold a whole bunch of these so if you want this design or many others go browse check out what we got on there all different colors all different sizes very comfortable clothes good quality paytodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. And if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Leave a comment right now in the chat or the comments down below saying end 531, E-N-D 531. It just lets me know you made it to the end. I really appreciate that. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications with the little bell icon to the right. And uh, you'll always know to be, be notified when I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money get that honey keep hustling and keep bustling and we'll see you all next time right here on what channel everybody paid to drive and of course pay to drive vlogs and as always drive safe be well and we'll see you on the next one take care